Uh, everybody, everybody, everybody go this way. Everybody, that's it. A couple more. Well, look, first of all, Andy, you know, thanks very, very much for uh, for having me here this afternoon. I'm looking forward to coming out and getting a, a feel of what may be happening. Yes, the debates have made the election very exciting for the public. Uh, there is no enthusiasm for electing David Cameron on May the 7th. Whatever response you get on the doorstep, there's one question I find almost universally you can ask, uh, which is how do you feel about David Cameron being Prime Minister on, on May the 7th? And the answer you get almost across the board in the seats we've been to, which is a tough, close fight, is we don't want them to happen. And I'm going to suggest to you that on bowling day, uh, what's going to happen at 10 o'clock at night is you're going to switch on the telly, and it's going to be, we can't tell you what's going to happen. And they can't tell you because I think what is going to happen is this is going to be won on a seat by seat by seat basis. And they're going to be extraordinary variations. Yeah. I think we're going to take seats. And, you know, I'm saying that because I do not get on the doorstep what we're hearing about on the television. I do not get people there foaming at the mouth to put Nick Clegg into number 10. I do not get, even in seats like Waver Tree and up on the Wirral, I do not see and get people saying, if only we could have that nice Mr. Cameron in number 10, everything would be fine. What I do get is people really anxious. And they are really anxious because of this recession and because they are really worried about their future. Now, we've got to make sure that people know that we're worried about their future. And we've got to make sure that people know that what we want to do is provide a fair solution for everybody for their future. So I think seats like this are absolutely there for us to ensure that the Tories do not win. I really, really believe that this country has not been convinced by Cameron. It may have found in Nick Clegg in the debates a voice for anxiety, but it is not an offer for a solution for the future. So if you continue working as you're doing, we will re-elect Andy Slaughter. So that's a pretty uh, pretty good target to work for. So let's go out there. Thanks very much.